Alright, I got him finding it. We'll talk about Ann and in just a second. It's a fortress move. Uh, it does 30. It does 30 damage times the number of Pinico and fortresses you have in play. The attack does 30 damage to each of your Pinico and fortresses in play. It's right here. Read it and weep. Okay, you're we'll right. We'll talk. We'll talk more about everyone From explode undaunted. now later. After wow, great Tatsu to get out because Karna was about to take N off the side of Smashville, escort him quickly. This is to his further than death. just quote. Unquote, this is further than just winners bracket, right? Yeah, I think this is winners semis. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so worth noting that Karna is very, very comfortable in this matchup. His practice partner for the longest time was uh, Trella. The Noted as the best for you for a long time. Yes. Did you see the SDI? <gasps> okay, but all that said, N is so good right now. They're playing even. I mean, yeah. Down tilt. This is a matchup that on paper, Sheik wins because she suffocates Ryu and removes some of his options. But in practice, in a tournament setting, one hit with some rage is all it's going to take eventually. Wow, he tried to catch Karna dropping that shield. Karna quick. whiffed the punish, which is really uncharacteristic, and then N was able to take the first stock. Okay, that's going to be a grab, catches the focus, tries to go for the up throw mix up. And finds his way down, though. Crawls under the Chakanetsu. This is going to be a kill? No, wow, really good weight. So Karna just tried to get the uh, read on the roll, uh, the buffered roll on stage, just like he did the last time the situation happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, this time was not able to connect. It probably would have killed him. And just single needles him to the edge of the stage. Karna playing really composed, throwing away a lot of stage control every time he goes really deep for these edge guards, but it's not been a huge problem Ooh. thus far. Something to watch out for, though. And might be able to take advantage of that. Okay, there we go. Does finally catch an air dodge with forward air. Karna only sitting at 25%. Forward throw converts into the forward airs. Wow, going for a footstool. I, I can't imagine why Karna would go down there and do nothing like that. But N just so quickly reacts. just ducked under the focus attack and hit him through it with down tilt. Wow, I can't believe N saved his jump. So smart. His recoveries actually been super good all night. Yeah. I mean, Karna's not made it easy for him. Goes for the really, really late bouncing fish, yeah. What? He went for that a couple of times uh, to no avail, but this time was finally able to catch the right opportunity. Once you hit Ryu in that situation where he has to Tatsu again, that's a free continual stream of bouncing fishes. I... Yeah. I'm going to be thinking about that one for a second, seeing what he needs to do moving on. I mean, it's it's kind of like you were saying about heavies, is that you've got to accept that sometimes you're just going to be at ledge forever. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that Sheik has such a good recovery that Karna is going to be willing to leap off the stage and put big damage on you and actually close out the stock when you're off there. And... Uh, if you liked what you saw in the edge guarding game from Karna Sheik, let me tell you, it's going to be no different with the Marth. His presence off stage with Marcina is terrifying. I, I, I can't tell you that, like, the moment that he has you off stage, he's almost parallel with you as you're falling. You're dead. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do. But we'll see if he can get N off stage and show us exactly what I'm talking about. First, he's got to make sure that N doesn't just take him to death. And uh, yeah, he was. N was actually too close to the edge of the stage to connect that Tatsu. That's why Karna was able to get out. Mm -hmm. Karna's been doing a lot of Marth today. I don't know uh, exactly if he's practicing, you know, for what reason. But his Marth is really nice. Not quite so polished as the Sheik, but maybe it's getting there. Oh, the rolls back. Just, just tempting N and saying, "Come on, man." Don't you want a piece of this? He's doing a really good job of mixing up which aerials he uses at which time when mm -hmm. he's jumping up. He doesn't just immediately do jump fast fall forward air. Right. Like a lot of Mars do to try to just create some space because Ryu will blow you up for that. Right. He's done a good job of making and not able to get a lot out of his landing back air. Wow. 
Got in on him quick on the committal there. Mm -hmm. I like the dash back because he realized that Karna had hit him on focus with a very non-committal button and could have easily just smashed jab. I really like that N is uh, pulling out different kinds of moves to have Karna approach him in the corner, and then he's throwing out the Shakunetsu's just to stuff Karna's approach, and then Ooh, if he gets those that. hits, he can confirm into uh, the starting of a combo, possibly a narrow or an up air. But that's definitely for those higher percents. Back down onto these lower percents. Uh, you know, Karna may be approaching a little bit, but... I love that. Perfect pivot back just outside the range of that aerial. Jumps back to catch him going Ooh. in. Karna has had amazing defensive play where he'll push forward and uh, make it look like he's getting aggressive, and then he'll pull back and make you whiff at the Mark last a moment. Great character for that. <gasps> no, but he has to recover. There was no other option than. Sure, you the other direction might have saved him from that. Maybe, but that's you're dealing with questions on fall speed against a floatier character yep. when you could be confident in your ability to land on stage and take that next stop. Yeah, and at those percents, he knows, okay, if I get, like, just one more small hit, then it's down tilt to short you and I win. It's plenty good for me. Mm. Gonna go back going. to the Sheik. Yeah. As you might expect, I mean, it's a good matchup for Sheik. Well, a good matchup, albeit a stressful one. We'll see if Karna... To maintain his composure, he normally can. He's a very calm and collected individual. Yeah. And FD especially is just so good for the way that you've been seeing Karna deal with this matchup because he you already know he's so good at covering landings. So good at I mean, now that there's no platforms and has far fewer options for recovering. And uh now all Karna has to do is really just put him at disadvantage and then keep him there. Mm -hmm. Because that's what FD's built for. Okay, just takes half of bouncing fish at these percents. There we go, perfect shield on the back air, but doesn't punish with a forward tilt, maybe wasn't ready. And is getting very aggressive. Yep, drifting in with that neutral air. Of course, when Ryu drifts, he has to commit immediately at the start. There we go. Charges those needles uh, to force N into shield. This has been a lot of Karna's game plan. He'll charge those needles, he's not or he's very willing to throw them at certain distances. And also, like right here, he just did the same thing. He'll charge the needles and cancel immediately. Right after he gives N enough time to register, hey, he's charging needles, maybe he'll throw them. Whoa. Then just dashes up and grabs. Gets a lot of free grabs that way, which is a lot of free percent for Sheik, and a really good way to set up. This could be... <laughs> Excuse me! And with, and with one of the dirtiest shield breaks that I've seen uh, this year. My god, Anna's gotten two shield breaks on screen that I've seen alone. But that one was by far the sickest. That one was the sickest. <laughs> he, he just kicked that shield and said, you're going to get out, you're going to get out, Noxia. Oh my god. But now Karna right back at it again with the needles. Catches him with a jab, though. You know, she gets to do a lot more damage than Ryu does to make this, uh, to, make, to take the stock away. But... She, I mean, as is the matchup, much easier time doing that because Karna is going to have such an... He's been doing it really well so far. Is just hit N, put him in disadvantage, keep him there. That was such a good wait there from N2 just to get Karna a little antsy and that makes it more likely that they'll hard commit to an option. Okay, I like that A, N recognized his percents and wasn't able to kill a Shoryu, and B recognized the SDI and went for an option. <gasps> no! This is really unfortunate. Yeah. He just kind of went for one. I don't know if it would have killed. It would have been close. I don't it think just... it would have killed that percent.